The cost of Alzheimer's alone will break the bank of Medicare. It's the diagnosis every elderly person dreads, Alzheimer's disease. But as Americans live longer and baby boomers near old age, we could soon be facing an epidemic. Adding to the problem, current medications aren't very effective. The relief that's, uh, that is obtained is only temporary. Current medications don't slow the progression of the disease. But help could be on the way. If all goes well, within the next five years, we could see a new generation of drugs that not only treats the symptoms of Alzheimer's, but can stop its progression. I think there's a sufficient number of trials going on right now that we have a, a, a good likelihood that a few drugs will make it through and be effective. Researchers have been hard at work trying to unlock the mysteries of Alzheimer's, and they say they're making progress. There have been some remarkable advances in uh, diagnostics, and I think one of those that looms largest is the ability to visualize the amyloid protein in a living individual's brain through PET scanning. Until now, until we've had these uh, new brain scans, we've only been able to see the very end product, which is the behavior, the memory, the, uh, the thinking function. Much of the current research has been focused on a naturally occurring protein called beta amyloid. Normally, the protein causes little trouble in the body, but for reasons still unknown, it builds up to toxic levels in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. Uh, in this disease, the material that's normally made happily throughout the body changes its shape, becomes sticky, and forms clumps between the nerve cells of the brain. Those clumps bring about secondary reactions, inflammation, swelling, if you will, uh, that then fosters a cascade or uh, snowballs into uh, death of brain cells. One thing we all have in common is that we're all focused on slowing down the production of the plaque in Alzheimer's disease, the so-called beta amyloid. At Epix Pharmaceuticals, researchers are working with a compound that they believe can prevent the buildup of toxic plaque. You'll be able to get your, your parents, your grandparents back. They'll be restored to their normal or near normal cognitive function. Um, they'll be able to remember things, they'll be able to run more of their own lives, they'll be less dependent on their caregivers, and you know, we hope that this drug will actually reduce um, the progression of the disease as well. We have some initial evidence that this could actually happen in animal studies. Meanwhile, at Wheel Cornell Medical Center, Dr. Relkin has been working with an amyloid sweeping substance called iGIF. The product, which is comprised of human antibodies, is already on the market to treat immune deficiencies. Baxter International, which manufactures an iGIF product called GammaGuard, has been funding the studies, along with the National Institutes of Health. Relkin says so far, the results have been heartening. We don't know yet whether the antibodies are actually clearing the amyloid from the body. But we do know that when patients get these antibodies, uh, they get better. So do researchers think we could be closing in on a cure anytime soon? The closest that we're going to get to a cure in the next decade uh, to two decades is a, um, a disease arresting therapy which when applied early enough, and that would be prior to the onset of symptoms, actually prevents the person from getting the clinical syndrome of Alzheimer's disease. For Market Watch, I'm Val Kennedy.